Hi. Our clinical case today is an example of the lameness as a result of two reasons. Not all cases of lameness are caused by one reason, in some cases, more than a reason can cause the lameness. The current clinical case is a hind limb lameness in a cow due to hip dysplasia and temporary upward patellar fixation. In this shot and by side view, you can notice that the cow has clear signs of lameness. To some extent, it resembles upward patellar fixation. The stifle and hock joints are extended. The fetlock joint is flexed. The cow drags the toe. Sometimes she makes circumduction of the limb and in other steps she pass the limb under her body. Now, when we watch the cow from behind, we can notice that, aside from the abnormal gait of upward patellar fixation, there is abnormal bulging of the hip joint at the right hip, and there is abnormal muscular movement at the gluteal area, at the right side. The decision in such cases is to treat both affections. We make firing at the hip joint and at the same time, we make medial patellar desmotomy. After disinfection of surgery site, we make local infiltration analgesia by injecting lidocaine HCL subcutaneously and in the V-shaped space between middle and medial patellar ligaments. Concurrently, we make analgesia at the firing site at hip joint by subcutaneous injection of the same analgesic solution. Now, and before cutting the ligament, we use hemostatic forceps to crush the skin at the site of surgery to minimize the potentiality of skin hemorrhage during cutting the ligament. Two minutes later we remove the forceps. Then we puncture the skin by scalpel blade. Finally, we are ready to cut the medial patellar ligament. We force the tenotome into the incision site. Then we push it into the V-shaped space while the blade is directed ventrally. Then turn the blade medially towards the medial patellar ligament, and cut. Thank you. 
After cutting, make sure there is no remnant of the ligament and it is severed completely. After cutting the ligament and making sure that there is no remnant of the ligament and it is severed completely, we should suture the skin incision to prevent infection. Let's jump to the next step. Firing of hip joint. Let's remember that the aim of firing here is to induce fibrosis to fix the joint. Like you see here, the veterinarian is using diathermy for firing, however, when it is not available, we can use iron or copper piece and fire it till it turn hot enough to burn the skin deep enough to stimulate fibrosis and fixation of the joint. We make the firing pattern in points. At the center and at the periphery. And we leave enough distance between point to avoid skin necrosis and sloughing. Thanks for watching our channel. And until we meet again. Have good time.